I'm joined now by Lee Fluger, and we are talking the Concho Christmas celebration. This exciting, Saturday. exciting. It's magical. This is our 25th anniversary. I was ask, what year our, is it? Our silver anniversary this year. So we've we've gone kind of out on the limb to try to make it the most spectacular really? event that we've ever had. And I understand it's going to be your first time. And so I get to see it at we'll, its best? That is its very so best. So what's different this year compared to the past? Well, we've, we've added scenes and, and we've uh, uh, just tried to make everything just really uh, presented in the right way where it's going to be uh, a, a magical treat for anybody going through the lights. So if someone has seen it before, it will be new for me the, the entire It'll thing. It'll be good but for you. The people of San Angelo that have seen it before, the new scenes, can you tell us what they are or do you well, have to go to find out? Well, we need to go to find out. That's we'll going to be the, the keep the element of surprise. <laughs> and the surprise will start December 1st, which is Saturday. We'll have our opening ceremonies at 5 o'clock down at Concho and Chadburn, there on the corner where the okay. community Christmas tree is. It'll be lit with the Twin Mountain Tonesman and the San Angelo Community Band doing Christmas carols. And that's the tree lighting, so that's, that's the a first tree, time that's, it lights that's up. That's right? the first time. Well, we're going to have a soft opening tomorrow night. Oh, okay. <laughs> so find out how many lights are working. And then That's in between, <laughs> we'll be sure they're all working on Saturday night. And then at 6 o'clock, we have the Lights of Christmas Parade. This is our about our 13th year for that. Uh, we have uh, just hundreds of people are going to be involved. And, and I, I don't have the statistics, but it's one of the largest uh, at our... At our last meeting, they were talking about seeing parades in Fort Worth and Nacogdoches or somewhere else, and they were this long, and ours are that long. So, so we have so many people in our parades, some 50-something floats. and wow, Are they all lit? Oh, they're all lit. Everything so has are, to be lit. These are different from the lights that are already on. Oh, the yeah. Now, this is just in the parade. Wow. And we've got Judge Steve Floyd's going to be our Grand Marshal this year. He's done a great deal to make our our light lighting program a success so we were we were really uh fortunate to be able to honor him for all the things he's done for Concho Christmas and then uh the lights Christmas parade will start uh will end and the lights along the river will all kick on and and it's so a two and a half mile course uh, starts behind the uh the post office there on first street okay and uh, as you go through, if you've never seen it before, we've, we've got the most beautiful venue in the state of Texas because we're able to do a, a participation with the private homeowners who are on the bluff of the creek on the other side where it's do elevated. Do they design their, what's on their well, we, yard? Well, we, we do owner? all that. It's a okay. we, we do all that, but they allow us, one, to use their private property as well as they supply the, the electricity. And as, That's a win -win. As, as you know, as you <laughs> heard last week, Reliant is, um, is funding all our electricity this year, and they have supplied us with... Uh, uh, Santa Claus hats that well, have so blink, blinking lights on them, and we'll have enough. We'll have enough for uh, all of our volunteers that are community hosts this year down on the river, as well as during the parade. They'll be handing out instead of candy. They're going to be handing out. Uh, Santa Claus hats. And that's, so, a candy only lasts, what, five minutes? This hat this will last will you the whole season. Probably lasts the whole season. We hope all the kids come down to see the parade and, and really to enjoy the spirit of the holiday season, which can be enhanced by going through the lights and participating in our program on Saturday night. And this is the big kickoff for it all. This is the big kickoff. Do they need to get there early? Uh, well... Uh, well, there's a lot of room to see okay. the, the parade. So it goes down Concho, it goes down Chadburn, across on Concho, and then back up on Oaks. So anywhere along that uh, route is going to be very good. Of course, the corner of Concho and Chadburn is kind of the heart of the watermelon, and that's where our uh, announcers will be, and, and they will talk about all the floats coming through. Lee, thank you so much. Everyone, that is this Saturday starting at 5.15. Go take part in the 25th year of the Concho Christmas celebration. Stay tuned. I'll be right back.